Prince Charles Life's Good and Bad Chemistry, by Chemist Rowland. Once Adam Sandler said, Chemistry can be a good and a bad thing. Chemistry is good when you make love with it. Chemistry is bad when you make a crack with it. Charles, the Prince of Wales devoutly inclined for years against stubborn resistance, from Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, who was steamrolling through this theory that he couldn't make a bond with Camilla. The reason for rejecting Charles's theory to become practical was that Camilla's aristocratic lineage wasn't up to the requirement of a relationship for the royal family. She was no virgin. Camilla was already the wife of British Army officer Andrew Parker Bowles. So she was not a suitable match for the Prince of Wales. Camilla knew that promoting from mistress to wife was notoriously tricky in royal history. Charles was told to choose a virgin girl of his own choice. Finding no way to get into a relationship with Camilla, he went on to date several suitable women until he encountered a beautiful, naive girl, Diana Spencer, in 1980, whom he was supposed to make way for them. Charles and Diana intended to secure the future of the Windsor dynasty. The difference was that Charles sacrificed his real love to some extent. But Diana went into this relationship sincerely without knowing the past of the Prince of Wales. It was the betrayal of the Prince of Wales against the loyalty and pure love of Diana Spencer. It was love and arranged marriage simultaneously. It is a common saying, secrets and lies kill relationships. No matter how careful you are, you will get caught. The fabulous ceremony one sunny July day in 1981 was the royal family's fairy tale. At that wedding, the dark secret of Camilla, a guest, and Prince Charles, the next heir to the throne, was concealed. Before marriage, Diana was a commoner. Afterward, beautiful and naive Diana proved herself to become a national asset and a roving ambassador for her country. Gradually, Charles grew jealous of his glamorous young wife and her fame among his people of the royal kingdom. His facial expressions were visible in different ceremonies and public gatherings, where people expressed more pleasure and love toward her. It was also not easy for him to divorce her, as she got great acceptance from the people of England. The relationship for him was a hard nut to crack. Diana made a special place in people's hearts. And above all this, the unique legal relationship of Prince Charles with a beautiful commoner gave the royal family a soft corner from the people of the country. They got a new revival of fame and acceptance in the world. Diana wholeheartedly tried herself capable of deserving a royal place as the wife of Prince Charles. Despite all her efforts to modify her according to as much as possible, she couldn't make her way to the heart of her soulmate Charles, whom she loved from her heart. Finding no other solid way to be part away from the better half, he disclosed her secret love publicly, to give a good reason to dissolve the marriage. Charles admitted his long liaison with Camilla, in a television interview in 1994. He considered their affair as mirrored and historical romance. Charles's great-great-grandfather Edward VII, and Alice Keppel Camilla's great-grandmother, were lovers. She was awarded the coronation medal, issued to mark her royal lover's coronation in 1902 when she sat in a pew specially reserved for the new monarch's mistresses. In this way, Prince Charles proudly confessed that Camilla and himself were romantically involved periodically before and after the first marriage. Prince Charles admitted his cheating on Diana openly. Visibly it was the real reason for not accepting Diana as his life companion. Diana wore the revenge dress, the evening gown, for the first time to a 1994 dinner at the Serpentine Gallery in Kensington Garden. The garment has been interpreted as, in revenge, for the televised admission of adultery by her husband, Charles. The marriage was going through a difficult period. It was kept very much under wrap before this interview. Later Diana said sadly in an interview, 
There were three of us in this marriage, so it was a bit crowded. Princess Diana and Prince Charles separated in late 1992 after 11 years of marriage. After multiple affairs, scandals, and one explosive TV interview, the royal couple's divorce was officially finalized in 1996. Within a decade fairy tale had turned into ashes. For years they managed to put on a show of public affection. As the marriage bond disintegrated, the mask began to slip. It was obvious that they couldn't bear to be in each other's company. Camilla, the mother of two children, had divorced in 1995. The press began to speculate on her possible marriage to Charles. A great proportion of the British public was upset by the prospect of a future king getting married to a woman, whose adultery with Charles helped cause the breakdown of the marriage to Diana in February 1981 Charles and Diana faced. Queen Elizabeth didn't want Camilla to be a part of the royal family. But the wedding announcement was exacerbated everywhere. Just officially, the legal ceremony was needed. A low-key ceremony was held in the Ascot room. There were no television cameras. Only Camilla's family and Charles's sons Prince William and Prince Harry, with Queen Elizabeth and her husband Philip, attended that ceremony. How different it all was. The last time Charles married, around the world, 750 million people watched the event. Many of those who believed the fairy tale were still angered by Charles's deception and the tragic loss of Diana. Charles gave Camilla a diamond ring that belonged to the late Queen Mother. It's worth half a million pounds. Thanks for watching the video. If you want more content like that, comment, share, like, and subscribe to Chemish Roland.